It's Five for Friday on May 17th. I curate out five things every Friday that are worth weekend reading time for people interested in public sector operations in general and public procurement specifically. And from time to time, I record an audio companion, which is what you are listening to now. So first, Radio NIGP is back on the air with a piece they call Use or Lose, the Challenge of the Year End looking at what happens in the rush that we're all familiar with in public procurement shops at the end of the year. And they have all of the NIGP thought leaders that you generally expect chiming in on this timely topic. Second, staying with NIGP, they have a free webinar next Thursday at 3 Eastern with Kirk Buffington, looking at bid bonds and performance bonds and how to apply them in your work. Definitely important to understand those tools and when to use them and when not to use them because they do have a lot of effect on your outcomes and the way that vendors respond to your solicitations. Third, the deadline to submit your state-level procurement projects for recognition from the National Association of State Procurement Officials Cronin Award approaches. And you have till the end of the month. The Cronin Award is one of the highest recognitions in our industry and It's also a great learning opportunity when NASPO provides the briefs for all levels of winners, so this is definitely a great program. Fourth, the Open Contracting Partnership has what they call a gentle introduction to applying AI in procurements, where they took a specific task of improving some of the green criteria in specific solicitations and walked through a series of repeatable steps to leveraging these tools to perform some specific tasks. And finally, the Montana Chief Administrator, Misty Ann Giles, was highlighted in a recent piece for her leadership and transformation. And we at Civic were happy to play a part and had a small highlight in the article. And a lot of great public service is happening in Montana, so check it out and add your voice. And I saw Misty Ann this week at the NASCA conference, as well as many other of the state chief administrators in South Carolina. That was a great event and I'm glad to have caught up with people. And next week I will be in Florida briefly to attend part of FAPO as well as some partner conferences. Lastly, I'll share two pieces of bonus content this week. First, NASA Value Point was very kind to pick us up in a supplier spotlight saying that we work tirelessly to support procurement offices nationwide, some of the growth in our business, and our dedication to making procurement a strategic asset. We are very appreciative of NASPO and their great work, and it was very kind of them to highlight us. Also in the highlighting zone, Jerry Ford made up a list of the best procurement podcasts to follow in 2024, and somehow he put us at two. I don't recall buying Jerry any drinks, but I guess I will sometime when uh, our paths cross. So that was nice of him. There's also a lot of great other creators and content arcs that you can find in his list. And it was very kind of him to give us those notes. So with that, if you are in Florida next week at FAPO, let's plan to meet and have a happy Friday. Hi, it's Dustin Lanier. Thanks for listening. Please find me on LinkedIn for original public sector operations content every week. And please reach out to me if I and my team of procurement professionals at Civic Initiatives can help you be a public procurement change agent.